Hello everyone, Glider Man here. So today we're going to be doing another project. Uh, today we're going to be working on, again, using the ultrasonic sensor. And what we're going to do is we're going to spin around in a circle, and then we're going to find the uh, distance to the closest object, and then we're going to drive at it. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to click the New Project button. We're going to create a Lejos EV3 project. We need to make sure that our JRE is set to Java SE-1.7, not 1.8. And we're going to call this Ultrasonic uh, Closest. Finish. And then our project will appear over here. We're going to click on this drop down and then click on the source folder. We're going to go up here, click that package icon and we're going to make a new package called pack and then finish and then up here we're going to use this button which is a new class click that and then uh, we're going to just call this ultra sonic closest and then we need to make sure that we check uh, the public static void main so that we don't need to write it so that we don't mess up and then it will appear here. We can delete this for now. And then, again, we're going to just grab from one of our other ultrasonic projects that ultrasonic.java class that we've used in the past uh, that allows us to easily control the uh, ultrasonic sensor. And we'll paste that in there. Now, open that up. So that's our thing. We've just grabbed it from a different project that we were doing. Uh, but if you would like, you can copy that now. Um, I forget which video I described it in, but uh, there's a video describing all of that stuff. And you can go back and watch that if you aren't quite sure. Anyway, over here, we're going to do a new ultrasonic closest. And then down here, we need to do a. We need to create the constructor. So we do public ultrasonic closest. There we go. Now up here, we need a differential pilot. Like that, and we need a reference to our ultrasonic sensor, or just ultrasonic, and then we'll just call it ultra pilot, we need to assign it to a new differential pilot, and I use the track width of one point, or er, sorry, the wheel diameter of 1.5 inches and then a track width of 6 inches. And uh, with floating point decimals, you need to attach an F to the end. Uh, for me, I'm just going to use motor.a for the left motor and then motor.b for the right motor. And it's going to be complaining about me not importing uh, the differential pilot, which I do there. And then it's going to tell me that we don't have the motor import. Okay. So we're going to make a. Uh, Actually, we're going to make a method, and we're going to call it setup ultrasonic, just like that. And then down here, we need to create that method, and it's going to have no return type, so it's just going to be void. And then we're going to call it setup ultrasonic, just like that. And that's just so that we clean up our constructor up here a little bit. So we're going to use a brick and we're just going to call it B, and we're assigning it to a uh, brick finder dot get the default, and then we need a port, and we're just going to call it uh, S2, as that's what I've been using for our sensor port. Um, whatever sensor port you have the ultrasonic plugged into, just use that uh, number there. Uh, so we do assign B dot 
get port, and then we need to do a capital S and then two. Uh, you would replace the two with whatever port number you had it plugged into. Here, uh, we do not want the sound port, we want the hardware port. Down here, we need the EV3 Ultra Sonic Sensor. Uh, which is not this ultrasonic sensor class here. And we're just going to call it US, and then we're assigning it to an EV3 ultra, or, sorry, a new EV3 ultrasonic sensor, and then we're going to pass in the port S2. And we need to import it, just like that. And then we can assign our ultras, uh, ultrasonic class to uh, us dot get mode, and then we need the distance mode. Is assigned a new ultrasonic class, and then we're passing in the ultrasonic in distance mode. And I just gotta add an I there. There we go. Okay, so that's our little setup for the ultrasonic sensor there um, that we called from our constructor. And that's just so that we have less stuff in our constructor. Now we're going to make a, another method, and that's going we're just going to say run program. Program, there we go. And then we're going to create a method down here with void return type. Uh, that's also run program like that, and that's uh, just what this is going to jump to, so that our constructor is clean, and so that uh, we have our program running down here. So what we first need to do is we need to reset the taco count uh, so that we can figure out how far we've turned. So we need a pilot, and then reset just like that and that will reset the count for the motors so that uh, whatever you're doing uh, previously it doesn't factor that in now up here we're going to make a float value and that's going to be closest angle like that and we're just going to assign that to negative one. And I'll explain the reasoning uh, later on that. Down here, now we do a pilot dot rotate, and then we need to rotate 360 degrees. However, we also want to check while we're rotating those 360 degrees. Uh, the ultrasonic sensor. So what we need to do is return immediately from that. So it'll do that rotate, but it will continue our code. And we also need to set our uh, speed of the robot. So we need to do a set rotate speed, and we're going to make that 45, and that will be 45 degrees per second. So that's all for this episode, and I'll see you in the next episode where we'll uh, complete this project. See you there. Bye!